Right here we have both the 50k USD genuine watch and the cheap replica that costs around 600 USD. I am challenging you to pause this video and guess which of the two watches is the genuine one and why. Leave us a comment with your answer and please don't cheat. Hello and welcome! Thank you for watching this new video guide created by Legit Check by CH. Kindly like this video, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications so you will be updated whenever we post new content. I would also like to ask you to leave us a comment with any suggestions or questions that you might have. My name is CH Alex and together with our team at Legit Check by CH, we'll present you today the video guide on an awesome watch, one of the few Rolexes that we didn't cover in our video guides until now. The extremely famous and sought after Rolex Daydate, real versus fake. This gorgeous watch has also been known as the President's Watch, but more about this on a future video where we will analyze the watch in detail. Today we will compare the genuine watch with one of the best replicas and let you know what to look after in order not to get scammed. Please make sure you take a look at some of our other video guides as we covered other watch models and brands and don't forget to subscribe so you will get updated each time a new video guide is made public. Now getting back to our Rolex day date. The reference number that we have here today for both the genuine and the replica watches is the Rolex Daydate 228235 that has an olive green dial. The genuine watch is equipped with a Rolex Calibre 3235 movement and is made out of rose gold, marketed by Rolex as the Ever Rose Gold. The replica watch on the other hand has a gold plating and a totally different movement. We will highlight these differences in today's video. Another very interesting difference between the two watches has to do with their prices. The genuine Rolex Daydate has a retail price of more than 40k US dollars, but you have to be ultra lucky to get it at this price. The same watch is available on the grey market with prices starting from 53-55k USD. The replica watch, however, is a super cheap one in comparison with the genuine item. Its price is around 600 US dollars, but in our opinion, the difference between the two items is huge, not only in terms of their price. Both the genuine watch present in the video as well as its replica were not brand new. The written guide for the Rolex Daydate is available for free on our website www.legitcheck.app where you can also get your watch authenticated. More about this service can be found under the authentication service link on our website. Now let me give you a quick rundown on today's video guide. For the first step, we are going to check the weekday window of the watch. The second step, we are going to inspect the date window. Step 3. Together we will take a very close look at the dial. We will analyze all its elements and focus on the re engravings. The clasp engravings are different on the replica watch and we will highlight this for step number 4. For the fifth step, we will take a look at the differences between the two watches' weight. Step number 6 is about the materials being used to manufacture the genuine and the replica watch. We will open the case back this time and take a close look at the two watches, movements and designs for the seventh step. For step number 8, we are going to check the full package that comes with the genuine watch. Weekday window The Rolex Day Date, as its name says, offers a day and a date window. The day window is available on the dial in place of the 12 o'clock hour marker, while the date window is available instead of the 3 o'clock hour marker. When closely inspecting the day window, you'll notice that the font and thickness are different, with the replica watch having a lighter font for the letters representing the day. The placement is also different with the replica watch's letters almost touching the borders of the window. While the letters on the genuine Rolex day date are nicely centered in the window, with some very little space remaining on the sides. Please see for yourself using the images on the screen. Date window. Further inspecting the date window on the Rolex day date, 
we do notice major flaws and differences here as well. When closely inspecting the numbers in the date window, you can notice that the genuine watch has a much bolder font in comparison with the replica watch. It is also clearly different that the authentic Rolex Day Date perfectly centers its numbers in the date window, while the replica watch has a totally imperfect centering of its numbers in the window. Dial and Rehot Engravings The Rolex Day Date dial is quite a simple one, but when closely inspecting its elements, you will notice differences here as well. Another common tell in most of the Rolex newer models that applies to the day date that we have here on our guide today has to do with the rehot engravings. As seen in the pictures on the screen, the letters Rolex engraved on the rehot will always be perfectly centered with the minutes and seconds markers. On the other hand, the replica watch will almost always present imperfectly centered letters. If you are trying to authenticate the Rolex Day Date yourself, feel confident to get back at any time to the pictures in this video guide or the pictures available in our written guide on the website. And don't forget that in order to closely inspect different small details, you can rely on a specific measure on the zoom option available on most of the mobile phones. Clasp and other engravings when opening the watch's clasp, on the outer side you will find specific engravings. The biggest difference can be seen with the bare eye on the engraved Rolex logo. As seen in the pictures on the screen, the genuine watch has a clear engraving with an equal depth. On the replica day date, however, the engraving is much more superficial and lighter. Another difference has to do with the content engraved on the clasp, as the genuine watch will have AU750 engraved, while the replica item only has 750 engraved. This engraved code has to do with the material of the watch, as it states that the watch was made out of 75% gold and 25% other metals. The exact same difference can also be seen next to the case back on the upper side of the watch. Please see for yourself again in the pictures on the screen. Wait. For this step, we will get a bit more technical. If you'd like to inspect this cell for yourself, you will be needing a digital scale. By measuring the watch's weight, you will notice that there are substantial differences here as well that have to do with the metals used in manufacturing the genuine and the replica watches, as the gold is heavier than the metal or metals being used in manufacturing the replica watch. To make it short, the genuine watch has close to 200 grams, while the replica watch has about 120 grams. It is worth mentioning that the authentic Rolex Day Date had 23 links without the two end links, while the replica watch had 22 links without the two end links. However, the difference of about 30 grams doesn't represent one link. Manufacturing materials. As we have already mentioned quite a few times in this video guide, the genuine Rolex Day Date is made out of rose gold and the replica watch most probably has a simple gold plating. More specifically, the fake watch present here today is assumably a yellow gold day date. However, differences can be seen and besides the normal color difference between rose and yellow gold, we suggest that you look for visible flaws. The gold plating will, in time, present defects, so look after scratches in the material. Those are definitely a sign that you are not holding a genuine watch in your hand made out of genuine gold. Movement For this guide, we'll get more technical. We suggest you do not try this at home, but you can ask for help from an experienced watchmaker. By opening the watch's case back, we are revealing its movement and its specific design. When inspecting the movement, we can softly move the rotor in different positions, so that different parts of the movement will get visible. Differences are huge here, as the replica watch first has a totally different movement than the Rolex Caliber 3235 movement present on the genuine watch. Secondly, engravings are much more superficial on the replica watch. Obvious signs of much cheaper techniques used to manufacture the item. Box and papers. The Journey Rolex Day Date watch comes with a box in which you will find the watch, an instructions manual, a Rolex tag, 
and an international warranty card. The replica watch came in a plastic case. It is known that these cases are the original ones used by Rolex to ship new watches from the factory to authorized dealers, but those are not the cases that should be provided with the watch to the new owner. Furthermore, keep an eye out as there are replica boxes, manuals and even warranty cards out there, but most of the times you will find different flows in terms of design, fonts being used or even misspellings. Thank you for watching this new video guide on the Rolex Day Date Watch. I hope you enjoyed watching our video and found all this content useful and relatively easy to apply for yourself. Always remember that you can at any time get back to our video guide on YouTube as well as the written guide available for free on our website. The link is available in the video description below. In case you need further assistance, our authentication team can happily assist you with the authentication service available on our website. More video guides will be made public in the upcoming period, so please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In case you have a specific watch model that you would like us to cover in an upcoming video guide, please leave us a comment with its name and reference number and we will do our best to have it available for you. Thank you once again and see you soon. Goodbye!